If you want to know the best musical movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 2000s. Now your job is to master the transportation and operation of this technology. Seriously, without a first-rate roadie crew, we'll never have a psychedelic show. And I can't live with that. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. I know it's sad, of course, but a fact is still a fact. And now all that remains Chicago is a 2002 musical crime comedy drama film directed by Rob Marshall and stars Renee Zellweger, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and Richard Gere. Roxy finds herself behind bars for murdering Fred alongside former performer Velma Kelly, who killed her husband and sister after finding them in bed together. The two death row murderesses develop a fierce rivalry while competing for publicity, celebrity, and a sleazy lawyer's attention. The movie won six Academy Awards and was the first musical to win Best Picture since Oliver in 1968. The remains of a perfect double act. Watch this. Number 9. If I fell in love with you, would you promise to be true? Across the Universe is a musical romantic drama film directed by Julie Tamer and stars Evan Rachel Wood, Jim Sturgis, and Joe Anderson. Inspired by the legendary Beatles music that frames this masterful musical, Across the Universe is the story of Jude, who settles in the United States in order to find his lost family. He meets a beautiful woman and her extravagant companions, and the two fall in love. But their musical relationship is threatened by the start of the Vietnam War. You're defacing city property. <laughs> What are you talking about? This was just a crappy wall, and now it's a work of art. You want me to come down there? <laughs> yeah, please do come down. Number 8. Oh, I had him! His throat was bare beneath my hand. There, there, dear, calm down. No, I had him! Sweeney Todd is a musical slasher film directed by Tim Burton and stars Johnny Depp, Helena Bonham Carter, Alan Rickman, Timothy Spall, and Sasha Baron Cohen. Filled with entertaining grossness and enlightened by its director's everlasting absurd charm, Sweeney Todd is the nightmarish story of an innocent man who is accused of a crime and sent to Australia by a ruthless judge who desires his wife. Returning after over a decade, he slits innocent throats in his barber shop, but he will not be satisfied until he gets revenge. That's all very well, but what are we going to do about him? Hello? Do you hear me? Number seven. So I'm proud to announce I will soon be the first person to say the F word on rock and roll radio in the United Kingdom of Great Britain. The Boat That Rocked is a comedy film written and directed by Richard Curtis and stars Philip Seymour Hoffman, Bill Nye, Rice Iphens, and Nick Frost. Empowered by a legendary cast and powerful rock and roll, the Boat That Rocked is set in 1960s Great Britain, where BBC Radio only broadcasts one hour of pop music a day, forcing pirate DJs to bring modern music to the people. Alongside his extravagant companions, ship commander Quentin and his crew try to change the music industry for good. If you hit a woman, love dies. But if you say the F word, nothing actually happens. So here it comes, especially for you, the F word. Number six. This woman is yours now. I paid my whore. In 1899, Christian has come to Paris to follow the Bohemian Revolution that conquered the city's drug and prostitution infested underworld. Moulin Rouge is a 2001 musical romantic drama film directed by Baz Luhrmann and starring Ewan McGregor and Nicole Kidman. Nowhere is the thrill of the underworld more alive than at the Moulin Rouge, a nightclub where men come to be entertained by the dancers. But things take a turn for Christian as he begins a love affair with the star of the club, Satine. It's just sometimes it takes a while for, um, oh. you know, inspiration to come. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let mommy help. Hmm? Does that inspire you? Number five. Quang Yi on guitar, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up, Quang Yi. Get 
give it up, Quan. Hedwig and the Angry Inch is a musical comedy drama film written and directed by John Cameron Mitchell and stars him alongside Andrea Martin, Michael Pitt, and Miriam Shore. Inspired by the ultimate classic Rocky Horror Picture Show, but becoming its own masterful musical experience, Hedwig and the Angry Inch follows a troubled aspiring musician who is the victim of a botched sex change operation. As an ignored rock singer, he must fight his way to stardom while also fighting his own inner demons. This is actually the first song I've ever written, and it's written for a guy to sing. Number 4 you know, Fathead, it ain't never the last song. Uh, now, Ben, follow me, do what I do, say what I say. This is how we're gonna do it. Ray is a biographical film directed by Taylor Hackford and stars Jamie Foxx, Kerry Washington, Clifton Powell, and Terrence Dashen Howard. This packing and unbelievably powerful Oscar-winning biopic follows a troubled soul finding a sense in jazz music. After seeing his brother drown at age of seven, and losing eyesight at nine, young Ray Charles makes his way through the Seattle jazz scene. What no one could have guessed, he forms the scene and inspires generations to come. You and Marlene have been gaming me since I got here. Ray, baby, listen. I've got to listen to you. Look, Ray, I, I, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Then why'd you talk? Um, look, Ray, Ray, let's not do nothing stupid. I might be blind, but I ain't stupid. Number three. Place on your socks. Mm. Mm -hmm. they're, they're all half written and more ideas. Go on, let's do Once is a romantic musical drama film written and directed by John Carney and stars Glenn Hansard and Marquetta Erglova. Fun, fresh, and set in the modern era of musicals, Once tells the unforgettable story of a vacuum repairman who moonlights as a street musician. When he meets a flower-selling immigrant woman who also writes songs, the two form a duo and sing about their blossoming love. Okay, I have one, but it's not finished, and I, I don't really. Oh, just play it. Okay, I know. but the lyrics are very rough. Okay. It'd be great. Okay. Number two. Dancer in the Dark is a musical melodrama film written and directed by Lars von Trier and stars Bjork, Catherine Deneuve, David Morse, and Peter Stormare. Life is wonderful, but to enjoy it, you have to suffer more than you could ever imagine. Although single immigrant mother Selma finds joy in music and especially old Hollywood musicals, she is destined to lose her eyesight one day. Knowing that her loving son will suffer from the same disease without an operation, a horrifying spiral of money problems and false accusations begins. A little faster. I like it better when you dance. You should dance more. I will dance when there is music. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Congratulations. You're a millionaire. Huh? They agreed to everything. Full guarantees. How many dates? It was, uh... 55 additional, I think it was. Plus the 30? Well, 29. Minus tonight is 28. That's 83 total. 83 shows? One of the great drummers of all time. Steady up. Um, are we going to be goofing off like this every day? Uh, we're not goofing off. We're creating musical fusion. Well, um, are we going to be creating musical fusion every day? Yeah. Get used to it. Oh, what are you singing there? You got the root on sing? You singing the root? No, uh, I'm singing, everybody's gonna sing. You're singing the root. Didn't I give you a six? Mm, I don't think so. Tony, did I give him a six? I think you were singing the sixth. Number one. This song's for your award. Walk the Line is a 2005 biographical romantic drama musical film directed by James Mangold and stars Joaquin Phoenix, Reese Witherspoon, Jennifer Goodwin, and Robert Patrick. The movie tells the story of Johnny Cash, from his early days in an Arkansas cotton farm to his rise to fame with Sun Records in Memphis Music Legend, through the trials and tribulations of being a star and beyond. We also see his relationships with his older brother Jack, his father, his first wife Vivian, and most importantly, with June Carter. Really? What was I thinking? I must have been crazy. 
Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.